Hello and welcome. There is so much to learn about when it comes to merchandising potatoes, like assortment, incrementality, storage, and handling. So we have Tom with us today, who is a produce merchandising manager at a top performing retailer in Denver, Colorado, to show us the ins and outs on how to really strengthen our merchandising strategies. Welcome, Tom. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So where would you like to start? You know what? Let's start with assortment. Key retailers across the U.S. that are really driving the potato sales mm -hmm. are doing so by keying in on varieties of potatoes and also package sizes. Those really drive incremental sales. Now, when you're talking about variety, you are just talking about the different types of potatoes. Right. Medleys, the petites, the purples, those are all adding incremental sales to us every single day. Now, when you talk about incrementality, what exactly does that mean? Incrementality really is something that adds to the customer basket. They're normally buying a 10-pound bag of russets and we have the medley sitting right next to them. They pick up that, and so we've added an incremental sell into that customer's basket. So basically, incrementality is when one product causes the consumer to buy another product. Absolutely. What about when the boxes of potatoes arrive? Let's just show you. Come on back. All right. So I've always been told that you should keep potatoes in a cool, dark place, yeah? Absolutely, that is indeed the case. You know what, we have lights on back here, but when there's no motion, there's no lights. And so it goes dark, and so it ends up being a cool, dark place. Now what happens if the potatoes are in the light too long? You know what, if they're in the light too long, they actually turn green and they get a bitter taste. Two big negatives for the customer and to sell potatoes. <laughs> True, we do not want that. Absolutely not. All right, so when these come in, which ones go out on the floor first? It's all about first in, first out. That way, the freshest product is out there for our customers every single day. Makes sense. Uh, what about ventilation? Is that important? Ventilation is critical because that's what keeps the product fresh. Perforated plastic yep. or paper are the two methods to make sure they're ventilated and to not have that situation where they get damp. Humidity. What can you do to add a little bit to the air? Because I've heard that they need a little bit. They do definitely need humidity. Mopping the floor behind the potatoes, that adds a little moisture into the air and in the storage area. And this might be a strange question, but can you get the potatoes dirty? No, we don't want them to be dirty when they're out on display for our customers. We want our customers to get clean product that doesn't have any of the breakdown that would happen when you have them sitting in a dirty storage area. So then should you wash the potatoes before you put them out? No, you really never want to wash the potatoes. When you add moisture to that potato, it will cause them to break down much quicker. When handling the potatoes, are potatoes sensitive? Should you handle them with care or are they pretty tough? They are very sensitive, they have feelings. We have to be gentle with them. We don't want to drop them because they bruise. When the customer cuts into them, they'll see that bruise yeah. and they'll be disappointed. And we definitely don't want to disappoint our customers. Tom, I have learned so much from you today about basically everything concerning potato merchandising from assortment to handling. So thank you so much. No problem. Great to see you today, Tito. Great to see you too. Have a great day. You as well. Thank you. So. We've shared a lot of information with you today about merchandising best practices. We hope you found it helpful, but more importantly, we hope you take what you've learned and put it to good use in your own stores. Thanks for watching, here's to great sales.